Hello, welcome. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my house. I'm Laura Cepeda and today we are going to remember a project that I made many years ago. I did this beautiful dress for a magazine and everybody loves it. Well, I didn't doubt to share the step by step with all of you. Before well, let's start. Well, I will make this dress for a two-year-old girl, okay? So, for a two-year-old size, I will use 200 grams in one color and 100 grams in a different color. Both materials will be between light and medium weight yarn and I will use the hook of number 3 millimeters. We are going to make first a long strip of chains. In this case, I decided that I will start with this color, with this light pink. I'm going to make this dress for a two-year-old girl, but if you are going to make this dress in a larger size, well, I suggest that you also make the same number of chains later with the number of rows and with this stitch we will increase the size but always start the same so we will make first 70 chains like this okay a little bit loose please relax and enjoy it well at the end of the 70 chains we are going to make three chains more two and three we will count four and right there in the fourth space we will make the first double crochet this double crochet will be out of three crochet. Look, yarn over. We will insert the hook always the same, like this, taking both parts of the chain. Please be careful and please always, please always do the same. We will take one, two, and the last two again. Yarn over, insert your hook, take one, two, and the next two. And like this, we are going to continue making 70. Well, at the end of the row, we will have something like this. As you could see, it looks so good. I always took and insert the hook the same. So that's why it looks good. So since there, you have to start checking the details. We will go up with three chains. And now we will make this double crochet, but in relief. Since we uh, turn over, we will insert the hook right away, taking it in the back and placing it in the back you see so we will always place it it in the back the okay. same place and also we will have 70 at the end and we will have this split behind well at the end of the row we are going to change color I will show you a trick because we are going to alternate the colors in different rows so I don't want to make too much knots and to have later more loosened threads so I will show you this trick so I will put and I will make a knot here with the new color and this will be the trick that I want to show you for the next row we will go up with both threads so we are going to crochet going up with these two threads we are going to make two chains and then we will only take the color that we want to use in this thread and the light pink that we were using before we will hold it here with our fingers and we will continue only taking the beige and like this we will continue well we escape one we make a double crochet then two chains and in the same place a double crochet to make a V. We will skip one again and then a double crochet, then two chains and in the same place a double crochet. So this row will be only with this. And well, we will leave this light pink here in half and we will continue only with the beige. Well, here we finish the row. At the end, we are going to make the last double crochet for the edge. It's very important, okay? Please don't skip this step. We will leave this uh, thread in hold because later we will use it. So without turning or everything right away, we are going to go to the other side where we leave this pink, pink sorry, this pink thread in hold. So we will go up 
with three chains and inside this space where we made the V we are going to make three double crochet inside. These three double crochet will be out of three crochet so we turn over, take one, take two and the last two. And well here we will start increasing. So right here in this space remember that we skip one, right there we are going to make a double crochet. And again inside of the space of the V's we are going to make three double crochet together. And well like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. So I will review with you how it is. Three inside, one here in the middle. Okay? And like this we are going to continue the whole row and you will see that we will increase the volume. So well look. Before we finish, remember that here we are going to change color again. So we are going to make this trick. Here we are about to make the last double crochet for the edge. And remember that here we live in hold this page. So we will turn over and then we will insert the hook right inside of the loop. And we will take these two threads to make the last double crochet and like this we will go up the new color then we will make two chains to go up and then we will continue only with the thread that we want to use in this case I want to continue with this light beige right away I'm going to make the first double crochet and I will make this row in relief this means that I will place the hook behind. So far I'm loving how the combination looks. It will look so sweet. And well, we are going to change color again, but let's finish this row. Well, at the end of the row in relief, we are going to leave this color in half. So here we are just going to make a knot. And right away we are going to continue to the other side. And here we have this page in half. So we will take the loop, we will go up and this row will be off this. So we will go up with three chains. We will skip one and next to it we are going to make the first V. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. So double crochet, two chains and in the same place the V. Skip one and again a V. Like this the whole row. Well, so at the end of the row, remember that here we leave in hold this color. So we are going to take this loop and then we will go up with these two colors. As you could see with this, we will avoid to cut to make more knots and to have more loosened threads. So right here we have these two colors. So we will go up with three chains and now I'm going, I, sorry, I want to continue with the pink color so the light page I will leave it behind and then I will just continue and in this row we are going to make only three double crochet inside the V's we, we won't make the double crochet that we were making between uh, the segments okay because we don't want to increase we want to keep the volume that we have already given so we are going to make a review here inside only we are going to make three double crochet and well like this is how we are going to continue the whole row so see you at the end to teach you what's next at the end of the row that we were making I did get ahead and I continue with the row in relief and well look so far we have something like this for a two year old girl I think this is perfect but if you want to make this in a larger size I suggest that here in the joke you increase more rows and you will see if uh, where we make the this you are going to increase double crochet or no according to the size so this is the perfect step to define the size of the dress that you want please to be careful and always check that you don't increase too much because if not the shape will distort so be careful try on and check relax take your time remember that from here you will take the space for the sleeves and for the back and for the front
Well, once that you are sure, we are going to divide. I count how many double crochet I made, and to me it was easier to count 50 uh, double crochet, and each 50 I put some markers to point it out. So look, here I have 50, then 100, then 150, and 200, and two more, <laughs> 202. Well, and like we have this joke opened and we didn't close, we are going to divide this joke in six pieces because we are going to use two for the back, two for the front and two for the sleeves. So we need six. So I divide these 202 stitches in six and I have 33 stitches so I will count 33 well the double crochet of the edge we won't count it okay so after this we will count 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26 28 28 <laughs> no, 30 and 33 okay so here we will put the marker and while well, the part that it's open, we will face it to the back, okay? After this, we are going to continue counting 33, 33, and 33, and we will put a marker right there. And well, here I already count 33, so I'm going to close it because this will be the sleeve. So I will show you this trick. I will go to the other side to count 33 to have the same number here for the back. And I will put a marker. Well, here I finished to divide. Okay, I have 33, 33, 33 here in the half, and then 33 in the other half too for the sleeves and for the back. So now this is how it looks. So, being honest, now that we see it, I feel that we have the sleeves two in the top, and I see a lot of space in the body. So this is the secret and this is the trick that you and me will only know and we will make. I will move the marker five spaces in the back and five spaces in the front. And I will move the, move the marker. Okay, so what we do in front, we are going to do it in the back too. So we are going to count five and we will move. Remember that we all crochet different and this is up to you. You have to see and check if it looks good, if it looks okay with the shape that you want to get. Okay, because sometimes we follow a tutorial and one, we want to do exactly the same. But sometimes you have to look and to think like if it looks good, if it looks like I want it to be, if the shape for the person that I'm making this is correct. So you have to always to check, okay? Yes, follow the instructions, but also to see if that instructions fit perfectly for you, especially when we are making a garment. So I think that now it looks good. Also, I think that probably moving two spaces more will look better. So just check. I think I will, but well, after you finish and after you check that the stitches that you have are correct, we are going to close the back and we are going to continue in circle, making more rows for the skirt, right? So I'm using two colors. For the rest of the skirt, I will use only pink and I will finish with one row in beige because I have more material in pink. So now I will close here in the back and then I will continue with the next stitch. Well here I already closed and I checked that the space that I have for the body and for the sleeves it's correct. So right here I will start. I will go up making 5 chains, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I will skip one space and next to it a single crochet. Again, five chains, then I will skip one and then single crochet. And like this, I'm going to continue the whole row. When we arrive here, we will jump from here to here and then we will continue all around. Okay, so see you at the end of this row with this light pink. 
At the end we are going to finish with five chains and we are going to slip one to close. Remember that we started uh, making the joke open because here is where we are going to leave the space and then later we are going to put a bottom so the head of your card can perfectly fit. To start the new stitch and the new row we will slip one until the top of this first wave and right here we will start. Okay, so now here where we have the join, it could be in this stitch or here, we will insert the hook and make a double crochet. Again, in the same place, a second double crochet, then two chains, and we will come back and in the same place, two double crochet together. Here we are making a shell. This stitch looks so beautiful and I love how it looks, I love the result. Well then here in the next wave, right in the middle, a single crochet. So like this is how we are going to continue making shells in this row. And well then, we are going to make 5 chains. Then in the next wave, right here in the top, a single crochet. Then right away in this joint, we are going to make the next shell. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row, shapes and waves. Well, look here at the end of the row, I have this wave missing, so we are going to make a small trick and this will be just between you and me, okay? So we are going to finish the row with slipping one right here and then we are going to join and it will kind of blend, you see? So remember, if you have this problem, don't worry, we can fix it, then we can continue. And well now, we are going to continue with the next row of the series. Now we are going to make only waves. So to start, we are going to slip on until here, in, we arrive to the top, we will make 5 chains, and then in the next wave, right in the top, a single crochet. Again, 5 chains, and then here in this space, single crochet. So we will insert the hook right here over the shell, and also right here over the wave. So like this is how we are going to continue making one row of shells and one row of waves. But in the coming rows we are going to make shell over shell. And well if here you are a bit afraid that you are gaining too much volume, well don't worry because while we continue making more rows it will fix and the shape it will start to look more beautiful. So don't worry, with the volume that we have it's perfect for the result that we want. Well look, as I told you we are going to make shell over shell. So look, to start with the next rows we are going to slip one until we arrive to the middle of the wave. Right there okay. we are going to make five chains and sometimes you may start right away making this shell or sometimes you are going to start like this, making the chains. Once we are over the last shell that we made, well right there, we are going to make the shell. So two double crochet, two chains, and again in the same place, two double crochet to make the shell. And then we are going to make a single crochet right here. So I will finish this row, and so far, from here to here I have 12 rows, counting this one. After this row I will change color and I will use this light page. Okay, I mean I will finish this series, I will finish making the row of waves and after the row of waves I'm going to make the last row with this um, color and you are going to make the rows that you want according to the size that you are making this dress for. Well, here we are finishing the row of waves. So now to make the last row with a different color, first I will slip one until the middle of this first wave. Then, that we are here, that like we are not going to use this color anymore, I will cut, remember to leave a long thread to let her hide it, and well, now here that we have this new color, we are going to make shell over shell, but this, in this case, it will be a bit different. We are going to make some parsleys. This means that we are going to make double crochet plus two chains, 
and then we are going to come back and slip one and make a single crochet to have a peacock in the top in this case we are going to make five double crochet but only in four we are going to make the peacock so here we are making the second one then remember as you could see we are making all the double crochet in the same space so here we have three then four so here we have double crochet then two chains and we are going to come back slip one and make single crochet and this is the fifth double crochet and here we have four double crochet with parts with picot sorry and then in the next space right there in the middle a single crochet then two so Three. two chains and then two chains more and we will come back and make the picot then one two chains and we are going to make a single crochet right here of this space then again the parsley like this is how we are going to continue the whole row this will be the last row for the edge okay so as you could see we are going to make the shells with picots and also the waves with a picot Okay, so at the end of the row we are going to slip one too close. I'm sorry, like this. I don't know why I can't. But well, we are going to slip one too close like this. And we are going to leave a long thread. And later we are going to hide it with an embroidery needle. It's important that we always hide them. And then with the lighter we can burn these tips and like this we will make sure that this will last forever and well so far i'm loving the stitch and i'm loving the result well now we are going to continue with the neck and making these last details we are going to take all these markers out because we won't need them anymore and then we are going to continue making a single crochet all around in this case i will use this light page and well we are going to continue making this single crochet throw all around in this step if you feel that your neck is too wide and open well you can skip and reduce some spaces but this is up to you i suggest that first you try on and see if you like it or not here we are going to continue please take both parts of the chain and well here in the corner of this space that we leave open for the back we are going to make three chains or four like you want and we are going to make a single crochet in the same place so this will be the eye for the bottom it will depend also of the size of your bottom or probably you don't want to put bottoms you just want to put a ribbon or a brush or so in this case i will use a bottom in the other side and i will use this eye to close it then we are going to continue with the rest making a single crochet throw until here and well at the end of the row we are going to finish slipping one to close then we are going to make one chain to go up and we are going to come back making the crab stitch the crab stitch is like making single crochet both backwards we are going to make one in each space or if you feel that you need to reduce even more you can speak uh, sorry um, skip some spaces and reduce but this is up to you in my case it's perfectly I won't reduce any space and I will continue all around these two rows I will make them also all around the sleeves to decorate well here guess what if you want you can make the rows of the single crochet and crab stitch but I decided to make a different stitch I did think about it and I made it here in the other sleeve and I love the result so I'm going to show you how you can make this stitch of shells it is so easy and simple and you will decide 
which stitch you like you the most. Well, I will use this color, this light beige, and I will start right here in the corner. So I will go up with one, two, three chains, and in the same place, I'm going to make two double crochets. So here we have one and two. Then we'll skip one, two, and in the fourth space, we are going to make a single crochet. Right there again, we will go up with three chains. And in the same place where we started, we are going to make two double crochet more. Then we will skip two and in the fourth, we will insert the hook and make single crochet. Like this is how we are going to continue all around. And you must count how many shells do you have in one slip so you can have the same in the other slip too. And well, with this row, we finished to decorate the sleeves and let's see the result. Well, look, at the end, I put the bottom behind, I put this small pair, and then I decorated it with this beautiful ribbon in front. And this is the result. I passed it through all this stitch, I found the spaces, and I put the ribbon. It's very important that at the end we iron using a protection on there very soft and gently. We can use a fabric that it's humid, not too much, and then we can pass it through. You will tell the difference and remember to extend it correct because the first time that we iron will be the most important. So use some pins to extend the stitches and how you want it to be. This is the result. I hope that you enjoy making this beautiful dress with me. Well, I hope that you love the result. I hope that you make it in different sizes. Remember that you can make it in a larger, larger size, making just more rows and increasing some stitches. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please stay tuned for coming videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Remember that it's completely free to leave me a comment, to share this video and to give me a like. Please stay tuned and so follow me in all my social media. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.